Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another insane overpowered squad builder on this channel and in today's squad builder as you guys can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be showcasing probably one of the best most insane 100k teams built around the new release SBC moments like Remy yes that's right guys I'm going to be making a 100k team built around this SBC like Remy which means it doesn't include the price of his SBC so if you guys actually don't have this SBC Remy then this team will be 150k um will cost 150k for you guys but for you guys that already have him it's a 100k team built around him honestly this team will do you complete damage in foot champions and in division rivals so if you guys do like the sound of that one then make sure you guys do go ahead and smash the like button of this video and also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but without further ado ladies Ladies and gentlemen, without enough of me talking, let's waste no more time and jump into the video, baby. Let's get it, let's go. Okay guys, so as you guys can see on your screens right now for this insane 100k team The formation that I do recommend that you guys use with this team is the 4 3 3 4 variation formation And that is because in my opinion this formation is very overpowered and for the players I'm going to be picking um, This formation does really suit um, the kind of kind of plays I'm going to be picking So that's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and use this formation But anyways enough of me talking about that. Let's waste no more time. Let's jump into the first player of this insane 100k team and as you guys can see me typing we got the man himself Usman Dembele in my opinion he is the best right winger gold card that you guys can get and honestly he is my favorite right winger gold card in FIFA 20 bros honestly I really do think Usman Dembele is very very extremely overpowered bros he's got five star weak foot five star skill moves he's got 94 acceleration 93 sprint speed 79 finishing 83 shot power 78 long shots but oh my my days man in game in game it 100 feels a lot higher than what those stats actually say man i'm not gonna lie those stats do undermine his ability in game because in game this man just feels unstoppable but also man his agility 89 his ball control 85 his dribbling 89 are just extremely overpowered in game man so honestly i highly recommend you guys go ahead and get this usman and belly card because he is a complete beast bro honestly man he is just so insane in fifa 20 100 um fits the meta of this game you know which is having quick um agile players um so yeah man i 100 recommend getting usman Dembele because he is absolutely insane but on the other wing we do have yet another frenchman but from this time a different league and he goes by the name of kingsley coleman and he kind of does um remind me of usman Dembele in the sense that he's pacey he's got good agility good ball control good dribbling good finishing as well in game again i feel like his finishing does fall a lot higher than 76 the only thing um that is that kind of different uh, differentiates him from um Usman Dembele is the skill moves in a weak foot obviously his weak foot isn't that good um but his skill moves in my opinion is still good you know four star skill moves is very very overpowered um but yeah man again Coleman he does fit the matter of the game as you guys can see man he's pacey 91 sprint speed 94 acceleration 76 finishing but again in game I do feel like it is a bit better than that that from my personal experience some people of using may think otherwise but again this is just my opinion and also again man as you guys can see man the stats the stats do reflect um how he feels in games in terms of his agility and ball control and dribbling man they are very high and again man he performs to that level in game he just he turns just very very quickly and yeah man i 100 recommend getting um uh, kingsley coleman on the other side as well man an insane winger in this game but let's move on to the cam position boys and we do have an insane card a card that actually does have a um a player that actually does have a footmas card in this game he goes by the name of nabil fakir so some of you guys watching this video actually might have uh, my own his foot must cards if you do you can go ahead and put them in there but if you don't then just simply use a normal gold card but don't worry guys do not worry because honestly man this 84 rated gold card still can do a saucy little job for you guys man again his uh, dribbling his ball controls agility is very very good but not only that he's also quite strong for a cam and also very very good at finishing got good long shots um got good shot power as well and has decent pace for a cam but also man you guys if you guys do watch me a lot you guys will know that i've done a lot of gameplay 
place um with Fakir being in the team and you guys if you guys do watch the end man you guys will see the gameplays where he does um score like usually when I actually do play with him and I showcase a game to you guys he actually usually does get a goal or a goal or assist I just feel like he does contribute to the attacking play a lot and I do feel like he's a very very good player in FIFA 20 so that's why I do recommend you guys go ahead and get him and also guys just to top it off he does have those um four star skill moves as well and of course he does have three star weak foot but honestly overall he is a very very good player which I do recommend but moving on to the right center mid position we got a beastly player man we got a beastly player well rounded box top box midfielder and he goes by the name of Morgan Sanson and it's just not any regular uh, Morgan Sanson it's his headliners card man this card is just amazing again I've done a score builder around him it's actually my last video if you guys haven't seen that 150k score builder we actually, I actually did do a gameplay with that team um so go check out I'll leave a link down in the description below but we did a gameplay with this Sanson card and honestly man he he just felt amazing he even got on the score sheet um in that video I don't want to spoil too much if you guys do go ahead and watch it but yeah man he got on the score sheet he had a brilliant game and I just found that he's so good at defending but also so good at attacking he's just a good well rounded player he's got the weak foot he's got the skill moves as you guys can see there um four star weak foot four star skill moves medium medium work rate so he's going to be floating around that the center of the pitch as you guys can see as well he's got 81 finishing 85 shot power 79 stand tackle 76 slide tackle 81 strength 86 short pass 88 long pass um 84 agility 80 dribbling 84 ball control i could go on all day but the point is guys that this guy is a very very well-rounded player and that's why i do recommend you guys use him in that center mid position but anyways that's enough talking about head line of sand so let's move on to the center mid position again to be partner on partner, partner i can't even say the word to be partnering up with um morgan sanson in the center mid position we do have the man himself the bayern munich frenchman getting that super strong link to kingsley coleman we actually do have this champions league i can't remember what kind of version it is that it's not a road to the final i think it might be like a team of the tournament Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure it's a team of the tournament card. So we actually do have the team of the tournament. I'm guessing it is um, Taliso. Again, a very, very good card in this game. Again, a very well a, a, a very well rounded card um, in FIFA 20. As you guys can see, again, he's not as fast as Sanson. He's obviously got 70, uh, 68 sprint speed and uh 76 acceleration however his finishing is quite good as well 78 finishing 86 short power 85 long shots 88 long um pass uh, 86 short pass 85 ball control and of course his dribbling and agility isn't as good as sanson but still relatively decent his strength is his strength is also quite good he's got good jumping good good aggression and also um good tackling ability so overall again um Tiliso is a good card man again a box to box midfielder and again another player which i do recommend recommend that you guys have in that center mid position but moving on guys moving on let's go ahead and move on to the full backs so we're going to start off with the left back and in the left back position we do have the one and only the Borussia Dortmund man himself Nico Schultz and I really do like Nico Schultz in this game because he is very very pacey and not, and not only is he just pacey man he is very very good at defending so that's what I do like about him he's just a sweaty fullback to be honest that's all that pretty much um is to say about this card he's got nice sprint speed and uh 89 acceleration also 77 shirt, 77 stand tackle 78 slide tackle and 75 interceptions honestly not too bad at all he also does have a3 dribbling so going forward it isn't too bad either but honestly man he's just a cheap sweaty overpowered um left back to you so that's why i do recommend him and that's kind of the same for the right back because in the right back position we actually do have um the beast himself man Coy. he actually does have a footmas card which i personally did myself because i actually think it's a pretty overpowered card so if you guys actually do the footmas card then you can go ahead and stick it in of course but if you don't don't worry man the world's not over the 78 rated card still can get a very very good job done and again for what he's worth man he is a very very good card 86 sprint speed 83 acceleration also he also does have um 77 stand tackle 74 defensive awareness and 77 slide tackling but obviously um by stats it's not the best but actually in game he really does do a good job down that right hand side so i do recommend giving him a chance and in my opinion he is um the best right back that you guys can get 
there in terms of just being a normal gold card. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to that center Barke partnership now, guys. And we got a pretty overpowered, a pretty sweaty center Barke partnership. So to start things off in that left center back position, we do have yet another Borussia Dortmund man, and he goes by the name of Manuel Kanji. Manuel Kanji, honestly, man, the big man himself, he is just honestly insane, bros. You would never think that this guy's 83 rated. I mean, if you if you had to guess what his rating was when he first got FIFA after trying him out after how he feels in game, you would say like an 87 rated card. But literally, bros, he is absolutely insane. He's a sweaty card. He fits the meta of the game. He's got 85 sprint speed, 70 acceleration. So overall, that averages out to 78 um, pace, which is a very, very fast for a center back. But not only that, man, his defensive abilities are just absolutely insane. 85 defensive awareness, 85 stand tackle, and 80, um, 80 slide tackle. But in game, again, it feels like 90, bros. It just feels a lot higher. And also with a chem style like a um, an anchor or a shadow or a powerhouse, bros, you're going to be living life, literally, man. But also, man, he's got the strength as well. But overall, man, an insane, cheap, overpowered card this man is. So 100%, guys, listen to me and go give him a go, man. But anyways, to partner up with a Kanji in the center Barke partnership, we do have the Bayern Munich Frenchman. Again, the third Bayern Munich player we actually do have um, in this team. We actually do have the man himself, Lucas Hernandez, who, in my opinion, is a very, very good card. One of the best Bundesliga um, center backs that you guys can get man this combo this duo is absolutely insane both fast both sweaty both good defensively both good at tackling you just can't go wrong at the back man with these two there 79 acceleration 83 sprint speed 84 stand tackle 86 slide tackle 79 strength 81 defensive awareness but again all these stats do feel better in game man i can't just I can't stress this enough. I've also done a lot of gameplays um, with Hernandez and Akanji in the team. Um, many like Bundesliga hybrids that I've done before, man. So I, I'm talking from experience again, man. Everything I say, yes, I know some people may say it's a concept score, but sometimes I only do concepts, especially when it's an SBC card that I actually don't um, own. Um, but yeah, man, my point is... <laughs> they're just insane man so make sure you guys go ahead and get them but to finish this team to finish this overpowered 100k team built around SBC like Remy to complete this team we do have the one and only the man himself Berkey in goal and honestly man I really do like Roman Berkey because he does make some good saves in FIFA 20 bros you can't really go too wrong with this guy as you guys can see man 86 diving 80 handling 74 kicking which isn't really an important stat um, 89 reflexes and 83 goalkeeper positioning so i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up man but honestly that does complete the insane probably one of the best 100k teams built around this like remy card man honestly this team will do complete damage in foot champions and rivals bros it is completely sweaty completely insane so make sure you guys do go ahead and purchase this team and give it a try man because you won't regret that decision of playing with this team but anyways guys it's been your boy rb plays hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy this video then make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button turn on post notifications and also subscribe make sure you guys do that man because you guys you're missing out if you are subscribed with post notifications turned on you are really missing out on overpowered squad builders so hope you guys did enjoy this video it's been your boy R plays hope you guys buy this team and i'll catch you in the next one peace out baby